when you walk in the door at Las Vegas, everyone's excited to be here. Everyone's like, we've been doing these shows for so many years, so when you see each other, it's like, it's a family reunion. It's a trade show encompassing all aspects of the glass pipe world. This year, there's a lot more enthusiasm. Pretty much the first day of this one, it was like, this is the new it. This is what we've been waiting for, you know? So it's cool. it was cool to see that in people. Even before the sales happened, they felt, oh, the, this is the vibe. This is what we've been wanting, you know? So that was, that was cool. But it really encompasses the whole different aspects of the glass pipe world in, in a trade show. So it's a really great thing. There's a larger scene, larger number of people interested, larger number of different insights and lifestyles interested in this form of art, and it's coming out in different ways. It's pulled it farther from the community element that the Grateful Dead lot and the Fish lots created. It's pulled it away from the community that we had with glass pipes, but we've also brought it farther into the mainstream, brought it more into the, the world of people that could see this creativity in this crowd and to start to speak to people outside of it. And I think that's really a beautiful thing that we're starting to tap into other cultures and touch them with the art that we make. But the wall, dude, the history of the history wall, okay, when you enter this building is so crucial. That right there sums up like what they're really trying to do is educate with heart, you know? Like, look, we've all done this before. Rap and rake, it was way before any of us artists, you know? I don't care if you're famous or not. It doesn't matter, it's all been done before, you know? We still can honor the people that come before us, you know, and not say it's all me, me, me. So that was cool. That was huge. When I saw that wall, I was like, oh man, this is, this, I loved it. Uh, the vibe of Glass Vegas is really good. I've been talking to a lot of different glass blowers that just really are ready for something new and refreshing and I think this is it. It's got kind of like a grassroots feel to it. Reminds me of the old days and uh, everyone seems pretty positive. It's good, good vibes. Everybody is super, super nice. I haven't been to a trade show where people are as nice as this, but even, even more than that is they're really calm and collected and they're treating everyone with a lot of respect and I know they're putting in a lot of work and I know it's really hectic but they keep their heads on straight and it's, uh, it's just nice to deal with them. Well, it makes it easier because, I mean, as the artist, you, you have to do everything. You know, I'm the guy making the product, marketing the product, I'm cleaning the toilets, you know what I mean? I'm doing everything. So when you come here and you can just focus on selling glass and everybody's on the same page and relatively calm, it makes everything easier and sales go easier. Las Vegas, what I've been talking to them about is they show that they care. I booked my hotel room the wrong dates and they called me just to be like, hey, we got you covered. And, and they, they reach out, they've come up to my booth, asked me how I'm doing, asked me if I need anything. When I got here, I called and she actually answered. You know, it's, it's huge. And then 
the vibe, they have art, they have music, they have the live glass blowing. All the glass in there is like top notch quality. Yeah, we're right by the stage, you know? And like the Boro Derby was actually started by the Peace of Mind crew, like originally about four or five years ago. It, you know, it was an event in Washington because it's uh, it raises money for the Evergreen State Project. So it was hard to take it out of Washington to promote it, you know, in other places. But they had been talking and planning and like, they were like, Las Vegas is like the best spot to bring it. And like an event like, yeah, racing glass cars, you got people live painting while people are glass blowing. They're like painting the piece that the glass blower is making, you know? It's like ridiculously cool. And there was great bands playing too. So they've kind of like mixed the whole thing up without it getting away from the glass, but knowing that every one of us that are here for that, love of that glass and appreciation and the artwork are into those other forms of artwork as well. You know, music, painting, whatever your craft is, you know. So it's, it's awesome. It's so awesome. The way that they care about us being here, like they want us to be here. They put the same emphasis in the glass blowers being here as they did the buyers to be here. So having all the buyers here is a really big thing. Like yesterday for the preview, there was, this shit was busy. Like I was shocked how busy it was. I was like, wow, this is awesome. I've done other trade shows and usually the preview ain't that great. And it was awesome last night. Like I was really impressed. And everybody that I've worked with and had communications with that are part of the team, they're friendly, they're open, they help. And it's something that we haven't seen in other, sh other places. It's like, they're not just here trying to sell a booth. They actually want to make sure that like, you sell your work. You know, they put in more effort than I've seen others do. So it was pretty awesome. That's definitely the vibe I'm, I'm talking about. Is like everything's in this room. There's no separation. There's no difference in between somebody who's been doing this for 
20 years who has a name for himself and somebody who's been doing it for a year and is making glass. Everyone's on the same level. We're all in the same room. So it's really nice that there's all these different ways to accommodate everyone and get everyone into the same room. We have the music right there. We got that Boro Derby going on. It's fun watching the cars run down the track. It's fascinating to see what the scene has become. I've spent so much of my career hidden in my shop being a hermit that I missed most of this. I missed out on almost all of it. I don't know. It's, it's fascinating that this stuff can exist on so many different levels and so many different perceptions at the same time. Like what it is to me is totally not what it is to other people who perceive my work. Like, it's fascinating to see. It's Las Vegas would be a great show to start with because it is pretty much everything from people just starting to the top people in the game. And just being all in one room on one playing field, that definitely, it's exciting because people who are just starting are seeing the people who have been in it forever. And the people who have been in it forever are just seeing the people who just started. And they're all feeding off of each other. It's all just good energy oh man yeah with the shop is so fresh for me so like i never thought like i'd be working with these artists on that level and now like you know it's vice versa because of social media it's like an artist will come up to me and be like introduce themselves and i'm, I'm blah 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 and i'm like oh my god i'm just a huge fan of your work i've been dying to meet you and they're like you've been killing it i'm like oh my god like you're killing it and it's a brand new lifelong friendship you know and yeah, yeah, I just, I come here like, like just dying to meet people, you know? We've built personal connections, you know? Become friends with these, with the person behind the artwork, you know? And yeah, it's just, it's, it's, I can't, it's only been a day. <laughs> and we're already talking like all these awesome things about it, you know? So, I mean, they did last year and already just blew up because of how well the response was last year. So this year is like pff, just been really, really awesome. It's it's the new it's the new thing. It's fascinating. It's it's hard to understand. Like I, I feel like I've been making pipes to live the life that I never could my whole life. I've been making these creations for other people to live vicariously through and to to actually see the people who own these things, to see the people who are sharing them and making their versions and all the interconnectedness between us and all the different levels of inspiration between each other. And we keep developing this, this game farther and farther. It's a, it's a beautiful thing. It's a constantly evolving, constantly changing, bizarre, living thing that somehow we're part of. <laughs>